in the index file that you can find a link to in the video description of all my videos you can see that I did a while back videos on installing Guardium in Azure and as well as uh, AWS never done one in fact never installed anything until now into Oracle Cloud and that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to install Guardium in Oracle Cloud but before in case that you are not aware with Guardian and what's the benefit of that technology the problem that it addresses is that in order for you to secure databases you need to know in which tables does your sensitive data resides so you can put access control to them and you can alert when somebody accesses the data they're not supposed to etc but what do you know how do you know wh wh where is your, your sensitive data you don't know the database manager puts the data wherever he finds space whatever makes sense uh, and that's what guardian comes across cardium has the the virtue of constantly scanning your databases and looking kind of a via regex like for sensitive pieces of information so after you have done the first scan it knows where the sensitive data is and then you can apply access control rules and in Guardian are called policies and when somebody attempts or, or, or violates one of those policies depending on how you set it up but you get a message that can be sent to curator for for the correlation the two products in here one is the Guardian collector and the other one is the aggregator it doesn't show because it doesn't fit into the whole page but this is the collector and that's the one we are going to be installing now so i'm going to click here get up and in here the region i'm going to select is us east ashburn and i'm already sign in so i'm going to click here sign in and i should that should get me exactly into that page once you're here, you need to select your compartment. I already did, and this is the version of the product I'm covering up in order to not to reveal information about uh, this account. And I click here, Launch Interface. A few things to select here. You need to give it a name. Let me actually add Jose to the name that came here by default. Shape. Shape is the name in, in Oracle for sizes of the machine. So I'm going to be selecting this one, four CPUs and 60 gigabyte. That's plenty and I'm going to scroll down through the networking but I'm going to cover some pieces uh, of it and this is the information about your private virtual network that you set up on your or your Oracle Cloud Administrator should provide to you and we are going to be using a public IP address again that's a security concern on it we're going to be using SSH keys uh, in order to log in in a more secure way but nevertheless this IP is going to be exposed uh, to the internet so here we need to put the public key in order to do the SSH at the handshake I need to prove that I have the matching private key to this one so I can log in and this is typically on the uh, tilde forward slash dot SSH directory and this is my public key so I'm going to drag that one and drop it here and I'm going to click uh, create so th then I need to wait until this uh, icon turns green and it should uh, provide me here the public key for us to SSH into it let's pause the video until that completes so that icon turned green and it gave me the public address you can click here to copy to the clipboard now an important consideration this thing is created but Guardium is booting up so if we do the SSH into it as I'm going to do in a minute and you get a denied error it's most likely the fact reflect the fact that the Guardium instance is actually coming up another important consideration is that you need to change the mode of the private key so it's going to be used for the handshake and so do that change mode 500 
uh, to your private key. Now let's actually start trying to SSH into it. So you do SSH CLI at and then paste that IP address that we copy. And again, don't be surprised if you get a denied error, uh, permission denied error, because that typically reflects the fact that the Guardium instance is in the process of coming up. Again, permission denied. Let's actually pause the video and, and give it a couple of more minutes. So we waited a couple of minutes and now we can log in into it. Again, we have the private key that matches the one that we put during the creation of the image. That's a standard in all the all these cloud things. And we can issue a couple of commands. For example, show build. And there we have it. We can do show system patch install. Okay. Now let's actually go for the UI. So let me open uh, another instance of the browser and put HTTPS colon slash slash. Let me paste the uh, IP address and it's on port 8443. And again, this may, uh, this usually takes much longer to come up than the SSH. So if we fail here to reload the page, we're going to wait a few minutes more until this thing comes fully up. Pause for a couple of minutes more. And that is what we want to see. And here we are. So that's an instance of Guardium, a Guardium collector on Oracle Cloud. I almost forgot to mention something very important. The default password to log in in here, you put here admin, and then you need to go here and show the OCI. And you need to take the last 20 characters of it, and that's going to be the default password. You need to change it immediately after you log in, but that's how you first get in there. So let me actually try that. Paste it here and do login and that allows us to get in there and then you need to change it to an strong password actually start that again and you are in